Okay, so um, I have just produced a new stream export feature, uh, which is uh, the one that I want to profile. So I've highlighted that in here. I'm just going to clear my selection for a minute. So this is red one right here. So that is one um, polyline, but it's uh, there's two segments of it. And so um, we can uh, we could uh, basically join them together, but I'm a little curious for how this goes if we um, try to profile it the way it is. So let's explore. Okay, so I'm going to close my attribute table here. So basically, I want to look at the topographic profile along this stream. So uh, I know that the tutorials tell you there's some ways to do that. Uh, using what's called 3D analyst tools. Um, and that's true. So you can follow that direction. I, I'm suspicious that we might be able to go another route um, using the exploratory uh, profile tool. So to do that, we would add data and add an elevation source layer. Uh, and the somewhat unfortunate thing is that it's not clear where this data is um, but we can go um, to this project and the database is in this project and point at the fill dm okay so that's not so bad so that's our elevation layer it has to build pyramids there it is okay so now we would go to analysis and then exploratory 3D analysis elevation profile. And then from a layer, so from the stream export features, and, oh, we have to select a line in the view. So let's select all and then apply. Okay that worked so you can see that there's a huge topographic break where it joins the other stream uh, but then it has pretty nice concavity but um, some topographic break maybe in here and continues on up um, you can see some breaks in the topography uh, where you maybe re meet different rock types um, but yeah you could then export this uh, uh, to a CSV or an image, etc. Um, some people might get things to be out of order. In this case, I can't really do that because I just clicked two and they're in order and the profile looks good. But if you did get things to be out of order, there's a solution to that. Um, so what that solution would be to do is to go back to geoprocessing and um, we're going to look for something called route and it's uh, linear so creates a route from existing lines so if i do that and i input the streams that i just had there and um, you just have to tell it um, what the identifier field is 